This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshokeye. What's up, guys? How you doing? I do. What's poppin'? How's your weekend? It feels yeah. like your voice is on the low. Your voice is on the low. Yes, I'm my okay? bono boy vibe. Do you want to share anything with me? Do you have yeah. some? Do you have some to share anything with No, no, no. I really don't Are have anything sure? to share. I just had a very stressful weekend and a stressful morning, but it's Aww. all good. Aww. Yeah. No worry. I'm, I will try to behave myself. But when he gives me the go ahead to share, I'm here for you guys. Oh, so Elsie, how was your weekend? It was. It was okay. It was stressful, mm. but it was okay. Good. All right, so um, Sugar Rush, a Jade Oshiberu film, was suspended from showing in the cinemas after barely two weeks' run, and the Nigerian Film and Video Censors Board has offered an explanation. Reacting to the outrage, NFVCB, in a statement in its Facebook page, said Sugar Rush was, Sugar Rush was suspended in cinemas because the temporary approval given to the movie exhibition has expired. The executive director of the board, Adedayo Thomas, took um, responsibility for the final approval of the movie, saying he was preoccupied with extant responsibilities. He said, and I quote, I however take responsibility for the gap in communication and the delay in granting final approval as the temporary approval given for the movie exhibition expired before we could release an official statement. Due to my preoccupation with extant responsibilities and a backlog of movies requiring approval as a result of the December rush. He, however, promised that um, he's working with the distributors, producers, and directors, and key actors in the film to grant final approval and to resume exhibition at the cinemas. <clears throat> Good news. Okay. It's good news. <laughs> <laughs> when um, the news broke, I think it was Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a bit of outrage, mm -hmm. and then we saw people tweeting. And but I had a problem with the whole the way the whole thing started because mm -hmm. I saw the graphics that had the sugar rush and saying that it's no more in the cinema. And they are doing everything possible, and then I saw people like Banky W, Adesua, mm -hmm. key people in the movies mm -hmm. were saying, oh, tweet with the hashtag. But then nobody was telling us what the why we should tweet with yeah. the hashtag. It feels like you put things, social media is just a place you just come and just create any... So and in my head, I was wondering, what was the problem? If you want us to come in, then tell us what exactly is going on. It was after the whole outrage. Of course, they will have people that want to go on and tweet, maybe because of the affiliation with them or just because... Or some people just really like the just, movie, and, you know. But yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like if you want people to do something, then you just need to be open about it and let us mm. know. And that's even better the um, yeah, speculation. Yeah. People saying mm. it's EFCC that don't like it, and that's why they're bringing it down. And, and that, um, for me, that was like really ridiculous when I saw people trying to drag EFCC into it. it. I'm like. For I believe EFCC is a body that you know they know what they are doing and they know their job and they really can't be bothered about how a movie is you know portraying, portraying them, them mm -hmm. as long as they are doing their job and they are doing what is right. Mm -hmm. So I have a big, pro big problem with people dragging EFCC into it. Then, like you rightly said, when I saw the old hashtag, I was thinking maybe somebody is trying to bully them or something. And with this statement, I'm wondering so there is really not a serious problem. Mm -hmm. It's just proper documentation and whatever that has to be done and the movies back in the cinema, they would have just explained that and all this would be over. So this is about um, the fact that their temporary license to film this has expired. So I'm wondering why they went all out on social media trying mm -hmm. to um, create a PT party. Um, because it's not about a pity party. If, we're, if we keep talking about um, systems working in Nigeria, mm -hmm. then I think the people that are working within those systems should also make sure that they meet certain requirements. Mm -hmm. I can't say uh, I work in the media industry and I'm fighting for freedom of speech, and then I keep coming out to say things that, um, or no, or I don't even say anything at all and I'm fighting for freedom of speech. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's like a contradiction of what I'm fighting for 
because I'm not even saying anything. I'm not fighting for anything, but I'm, I keep saying freedom of speech, freedom of speech, freedom of speech, when I don't even use what I'm fighting for. Maybe you're supporting others. <laughs> Do you understand? So at the end of the day, so I think um, this whole thing is kind of complicated because we can't blame them because these people can come out. They can come out to debunk this. That No, that's not the issue. We didn't do a temporary licensing. We did a full time and then they're now saying it's temporary because there are some powers. But so, you know, like Ewa said, there's documentation. So yeah. if this is exactly what happened and you came out, you came out to tell us, okay, the um, director of the board According to him, he said it's extant responsibility, right? <laughs> and he had it, and then he couldn't do what he was supposed to do. Nobody's coming to refuse. The guy opened up to say he is taking the responsibility. Yeah. I mean, so I think this whole stunt is just to create awareness for when the movie go, goes back to the cinema, they'll be able to make see, more money. Yeah. Because in two weeks, it made much more so um, this is than a publicity a stunt. I'm actually yeah. disappointed that everyone. Um, Involved the sugar rush because this that is a, stood up for the yeah because um, at the end of the day we got a lot of people talking with the hashtag bring back the movie sugar rush bring back yeah the movie and sugar I was wondering honestly uh, I thought it was like a big deal maybe really yeah. something you know when, serious um, happened was it Genevieve that yeah. came out mm -hmm. to say that they were bullying I thought it was that kind that of control kind of yeah. that um, they were there were some powers that felt that okay they were grossing I too thought much so too, and but I also knew it couldn't be because if that's the case it wouldn't start airing at all it wouldn't so even be in the cinema yeah so I thought so about it's definitely it definitely a distribution thing and um, from maybe the censors board and just come out to tell us what it is yeah it's so deep. if it's a temporary thing you guys did then you should know that there will be some challenges at mm -hmm. the end of the day and then if this guy is taking full responsibility for the um, communication gap then I think it has been well said and I think um, the systems are actually beginning to work mm -hmm. yeah so um, bring back the movie sugar bring back the movie sugar rush the movie sugar rush have you seen it I was right you've thing. seen it yeah I have I mean everybody have that I was like no I want okay. I was going to see it this weekend and then surprise okay, don't worry. <laughs> everybody that now, a lot acts of people like are saying movie. that they should just jump on other platforms and release the movie yeah, on Netflix, um, Netflix and all of that. But <laughs> I would appreciate if they can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, um, whatever the case may be, I just hope they're able to re um, resolve this mm. and then the movie gets back in cinemas because there are a lot of people that haven't, I haven't seen it for And one. I want to watch and, it, And um, yeah. we all want to watch it, and even if I didn't really care before, no, now you, I really no, care. I've always honestly. cared because Which is everybody has to yeah. this, so I guess their plan is working mm. out perfectly. But it's a great movie, yeah. Well, we saw all the Nelsie. movies. When Elsie does, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> don't know that there's a comma. I mean, it, is, it is funny. It is funny, but I but have. It didn't meet with, your expectation. Not, I, I had no expectation really. I really wanted to laugh. So if I'm looking at it from that angle, well, yeah, they made me laugh. But the storyline is just. But a lot of people seem to like the movie. Yeah, That's a lot yeah, of, a lot of people, people think do, it's a great movie, but um, I, like I said, until you I see will it, laugh. okay, you will, you will laugh. But at some point, you feel like. And do these people think we're stupid? Like, what are you people doing? But mm -hmm. then it's funny. So maybe their aim was just comedy, right? So right. if that is it, then they of course it goes it. good. But uh, your IQ will come good. Okay. Your IQ? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't want to see it. I need to see it because you laugh. You need some laughter in your hey, life. But my IQ, I need my IQ in my life, too, please. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next story, which is a good one. Bonaboy gets Brit Award nomination. On January 11, 2020, 20, Nigerian superstar Bonaboy was nominated for Best International Male Artist at the Brit Awards 2020. He was nominated alongside Americans Bruce Springsteen, Demos Kennedy, Tyler, the creator, and Post Malone. Um, the Brit Awards 2020 will be the 40th edition of the British Phonographic Industries Annual Pop Music Awards and will hold on February 18, 2020. So that is congratulations yeah. to Bono. Like he's the real international. I'm <laughs> telling you, he's the real in definition Bonobo of international. Right now is making some um, power moves mm -hmm. and I'm really proud of that. Like, and he's very, very low key. He's not a loud type. There are mm -hmm. a lot of people that are making this type of achievement. Like some people that you know. And they would be we it, it would be all over the news. <laughs> Everybody's talking. In fact, they are the ones even bragging about it. But well, that's okay. They're the ones to turn their own on. And at the end of the day, Bonaboy bought a it Ferrari and a no Rolls Royce in the space of the same month. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it was, was lucky. Did he post it on social media? <laughs> I 
the I'm, uh, no, my point is, even if you want to buy all these things and put it out there, as long as you're working for it and it's your money and you have it, my dear, I'm we are different people. Now, boy, <laughs> so so for this Brit, for the for this Brit Awards, I'm really glad that Bonner Boy keeps winning, and mm. uh, I'm sure he's still going to win this award because. Um, when I looked at the people he was um, nominated alongside with, I believe that he has a 80% chance of winning this award mm -hmm. compared Post to these Malone people. There. Yeah, mm -hmm. Post Malone is there, but uh, when you're talking about internationally, I think Bonner Boy is, um, Post Malone is big in America, he's big in other parts of the world, but I don't think it's as big. Well, no, some people will say, come for me for this. Thing. I don't think, I don't think. I know you love that. I mean, Bonner, just keep that let's part, let's move on. on. I'm just looking forward to the Grammys. He has to bring that back. That's the one I know. Yeah. When I look at people on the same category, I feel like he deserves it more. I'm sorry, maybe because I'm Nigerian. But that's Bonner Boy, but okay. you, but you guys one. remember, remember, <laughs> I remember know. I said that Bonner Boy is going to bring home this award as well, especially the fact that he's, he also lived in the UK for a long time mm -hmm. and all of that. So I believe so he has that, his UK yeah, fan base. He has his UK fan base. He has all of that. So I believe he's still going to come home. And then his song, um, Location, with Dave, a mm -hmm. UK artist also, mm -hmm. You know, was um, a big deal over Only there. it was and a big deal. I mean, only it was Ed Sheeran and Stormzy. Like Do you understand? Yeah. He's done tracks with a lot of um, UK artists, so I believe that um, this would boost his chances of winning this award. So okay. I believe he's going to come on with this. Yeah. So big shout out to Bonnie Boy for I'll this one. Definitely be doubly I happy, mean, we're so. excited mm. if he brings the award home. Congratulations. But to the Grammys, Stay please, winning. bro, just make sure you come on with the Grammys. We're waiting for that. That one is that. secure. And please make sure it's you secure. Go home. It's yeah, secure. Yeah, secure the bag. Yeah. That gram is bringing it to him. Don't worry. He's bringing it to him. Yeah. yeah, and I'm just saying he should make sure he goes with nice so that they'll come back together. Like, they'll bring it home together. With nice. Nice. Yeah. I like homage. Yeah, that does you didn't get it. Oh, God. <laughs> it's time for a quick break. But before <laughs> that, you need to hear this. Pinkberry Gourmet Frozen Yogurt Nigeria is making it happen this January with sweet offers. You get to enjoy three cups of the tasty and refreshing yogurt for just 2,000 naira. Head over to any Pinkberry Gourmet Frozen Yogurt store near you and be a part of all the mouth-watering offers. Tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo! This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Controversial rapper Black Bones opens up on his relationship with his dad. He took to his Instagram page to vent about his absent father. He said, and I quote, my dad that ran to another country when I was born did not ever, didn't ever see him till I was a teenager. He's talking to me about disrespect. When I finished uni and came to Lagos, I asked for his help. Man left me on red. Fast forward two years of not talking, he sent this. Um, I'm sure he shared the screenshots that you will see on um, the screen, but um, I think the man was really overreaching as far as I'm concerned. Honestly, for me, I think um, however he wants to feel about his father is very okay or mm -hmm. whatever issue is going on. But, you know, bringing it to social media is very, I mean, it's just, there's some things that should just stay off mm -hmm. the internet. We don't need to know really. Now that we know what you want us to do, nothing. You can always keep this to yourself. I'm not trying to say, feel this type of way about your father or forgive your father. I'm not preaching to him right now. I just feel like you should undo this thing behind internet. We don't need to know all these things. Family issues, I mean, what if you make up with your father someday, you come out and people already ridiculed him on the internet because mm. you brought him there. 
I would now when people now keep um, talking about your father trolling him and you've settled with him, how do you handle it? You say people are coming for you and you don't like it, mm. but you brought it to them. Mm. Some things are just rather kept behind the scene. We don't need to know. That's how I feel about it. Okay, so um, in as much as I'm a big fan of black bones, I'm totally not in support of this whole thing because at the end of the day even the bible says honor thy father and your mother a lot of people mm. are saying that the fact that someone gave birth to you doesn't actually mean that they play the fatherly doesn't role. mean that mm -hmm. they deserve the, the honor yeah it doesn't even ahead. mean that they deserve the honor and all of that but one thing is for sure is that their blessings go a long way right. whether or not they were there everybody makes mistakes black bones himself cannot tell me that he doesn't have some things exactly i mean what if this not, man honestly is just now of. trying to now write this, his yeah, so it's not about and some people are actually saying and i think that's true that this is a lot of pride especially when you have not blown mm. if it was a whiskey though david do that is coming out so we'll say that okay they're international stars they're mm. doing good this man how much do you have black bones honestly how much do you think you have really really blown this can actually affect your career in honestly, a lot of ways yeah. i'm not talking about the physical now i'm talking about spiritually do <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand like this can really 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 oh really affect my your career days. as in and like ewa rightly said there are a lot of things that shouldn't be brought on social media mm. settle this thing it's a personal family issue mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't if you want, want to, to settle no, we don't we need to know honestly. because a lot of people are now saying that this man go and sit down there. <laughs> so imagine your father reading this. Yes, he made a mistake. He, he, he messed up. He was an absentee father. He was a deadbeat. Da See now, I'm beginning to ridicule your father. I mean, do you understand? Like I didn't even mean to, but <laughs> that's the one. Yeah. According to his story, that's I what didn't even mean it. to, but. Um, unconsciously, I'm beginning to talk down mm. on the man. Mm. So imagine how many people that are, on the, that are in the comment section saying exactly really what I'm they saying, just... and some are even saying worse. Yeah. And and they they saying now that I'm popping. How are you popping? What are you popping about? You're not even Why popping. Why do you think he's not popping? Black we bones. He's not a whiskey. It's not because he's not, not a whiskey. A people. black bones. Please, like, you know, we, like we, we always not... say on this table, we all define our success the way we want to see. Well, it, true right? that. And, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. I mean, I'm also an advocate of keeping some things private. Things that mm. are private should really be private and social media. Especially but family, especially I mean, this family. man. Oh, his dad, right? He, he made his mistake and made it with... No remorse. I don't know whether he has remorse or not, but then with pride. Like, it was his mistake and he lived it. If you think what Black Bones is doing now is a mistake, please let him make his mistake and also learn from it. Because... Okay. We she don't know how he felt all through those years. Okay, that's why I'm we saying. We don't know how much this conversation have gone, how deep it is for him to decide to say, you know what, I want to put this out there. If this is how he's going to handle heal. this pain mm. and heal from it, please, I mean, I would uh, say uh, let him there's no, heal and there's handle Honestly, it. I don't think Nobody's there's going no to it. tell him I don't, how to do you know feel why or how I to feel react that this is or not, how to handle Should I tell you why I feel healing? that this is not because a healing you don't process want for Black Bones? Should I tell you why I feel this is not a healing process for Black Bones? because we've had him on the show and we know how cocky and how arrogant he can be mm -hmm. when he's talking do you understand so i believe this regarding is, his music no not just his music LCM, that's is what i mean LCM, if i'm going to I say really, i know I how honestly, cocky I mean, black bones can I, i've be, always said music. that you don't tell people how to heal from their pain yeah. but this is not, not an about healing, healing process this is about, it's about no, what i feel it this is, is about not. him just but being then, black i feel he just wants to ridicule that man and if that is what he wants to do why do you think he doesn't have the right to do it Okay, now there's a comment I dropped in one comments, of the popular yeah, blogs, and I said this should be a lesson, lesson to, to so many people coming. that are thinking being a deadbeat that is the cool thing. Because trust me, that is some level of cool to some people. They believe, oh, I'm the father, like you said, or not thy mother, your father. So at the end of the day, if I decide to come back many years later, later, they will always come back to me. They will tell you, Baba ma wa moe, I be omo ma wa ba bae. Okay, let me give you an example. Oh, if you this on, is LC. wrong, you need to be present. You cannot just up and leave. I want to come back in. And if this is how he wants to handle it, please let him handle it the way he wants okay, to. Okay, no, hold on. Did you see the man saying that he has been trying to reach out to him? He's not big. What, where was me. he? No, when no, wait, hold she on. was trying this, to reach out to see, him. At this point, isn't, this is not even about how he feels or not. I, I'm not. Nobody's trying to mm -hmm. argue if he should take the man back or not. Uh -huh. I mean, that's his own personal business. But my problem is why we don't need to know. He really doesn't have to bring because we don't know the man. 
I get what you're saying, Bob. Saying he wants to bring it to social media and he has decided to. Can we just let people do what they want to no, do? No, we're no, letting no, no, no. him do oh, what they want. He's, he's done, done it already. He's done it already. Yeah, anyway. but the he's fact that we're talking about it, I think, okay, this is this my is how advice. You feel about it. I get yeah. I get This is my advice. So, and that was also how I feel it. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's okay he's been for trying him to also reach him and this guy also said. Nobody's saying don't feel the same way about it, but I'm going to give him a series of examples of people that their fathers have been absent, like Drake. I was Drake. honestly I was going to talk about Drake. Like Kevin Hart. <laughs> Kevin Hart brought back his drug addict's father. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And a lot of people At came for him. He bought him a day, house, he bought him a car. You, mm -hmm. you understand? Still... This guy was not there. Hold on. Now, he bought him a house, he bought him a car. You know, I've also been following Kevin Hart's story. But will you ever follow his story and not know what the dad did and how much it hurt him? The fact that he decided to forgive later does not erase that fact and does not but, erase the fact that he never ridiculed his father. He never Drake did. Drake never ridiculed his dad, too. I'm talking Apart from his music. No, it's not like no, no, even in his music, he's just saying what the man did. What the man did. Not that. Are you calling him ridiculous in this case? Is it not what the man did? Saying that look at this man that is telling me about respect. What does he even know about respect? Somebody that left. Somebody that left. Someone that what do you have to say about? Now that I'm popping, you want to up and come back into. Bro, you're not even popping. You're not popping. And I'm saying you don't have the right to tell him he's not popping. You don't know where he is coming from and for where he has gotten to now. If he feels he is popping, I'm sorry. Yes, he's popping. It is his success. It is his life. Well, if that's the way he sees it, I think he just needs to grow up and know that, look, everybody makes mistakes, and then life is a continuous process. He's True going to make well. his own mistakes. Right. And then when he does, I just hope he doesn't come back to bite him like this is biting a star. Right. Mm. Yeah. That one, deep. Right. Okay, moving on real quick to the next story. Singer J1 robbed um, days after flaunting cash on social media, and then he calls out the club in Ibado. Yeah, so... I don't know, I just feel something's not right about the story. They probably stole your phone. Okay, people go to club and they steal their phone. Mm. Don't make it look like what it is not. Maybe they stole your phone. I mean, I, I mean I, this is not what happened. I'm just saying that's mm. how I feel about the story. Maybe they stole your phone. You try talking to the manager as J1, I need to get my phone. And the manager's like, what do you want me to do? Mm. They stole your I phone. Think, well, the way I, the story came out. They said they robbed them inside the premises. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If it feels like there was like a proper okay, Someone I targeted you. I get this. And then and it wasn't really. I, that's how I feel. And about then he's saying it like they didn't really um, show any concern. Like yeah. okay, so like what do you want us to do about it? So I really don't get it. The fact that you went to the club, were you called for a show? Were you there respond? Because even when you are parking in club, they tell you uh, cars parked at owners' risk. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So there are a lot of things that you know that when you are going to certain environments, it's it's a risk. You see a lot of people going into the club and they are talking in their expensive chains it's not Some because even go out with it. you know, it's not because they don't feel like they should flaunt their yeah. chain but because you know when you're in certain environments certain things are bound to happen and then um i feel it, like if it was robbed report to the police what do you want us to do not the uh, and then when you tell the managers and the managers are like okay we'll look into it and you're like no these are your guys you need to get there so what was your approach mm. how did you approach the situation before right. the manager started reacting the way they reacted. Well, unfortunately, we don't have. Do you understand? Full so the fact that we don't have. Full he said details. something about them fighting him and all that. But I mean, as much as we don't have full details, it's also a matter of you knowing if you were treated right or not when it comes to customer service. At mm. the end of the day, you went to a place, a place yeah. to spend your money. And well, should I? Should I, I get so where um, J1 the, is coming from. We don't know from. how the rob robbery happened. When whether it was really old. <laughs> Your phone was just on the table, or your money, and somebody took it. No, no, I really think it was inside the compound or something. So, so if it was a, like uh, somebody pointed a gun, or you know. I mean, we nothing really is impossible, know, but yeah, fortunately, but we don't have the full story. Yeah, I so. just feel, report to the police if you think you were And then if you were trying robbed, to defame the club is another problem. Don't go there or they will rob you, they will do. The fact that it happened to you doesn't mean that that's how they operate. So I don't know why a lot of celebrities think that um, they can use their platform to bring down Especially brands. Especially when you're you not telling that the full what story. If, I mean, there are cases where you go to a particular place and they treat you a certain way, and you you can actually feel like, Elsie, I'm don't go there if this has happened. 
this is how they will treat you. It's not because you are a celebrity. I've been in that situation where their places have gone to and the service or even the food is terrible. I would tell my friends, I'm like, please don't go there, except you are fine with terrible food or terrible service. It's okay. something anybody can well, do. Um, I guess where it's coming you. from, because if you have like huge following and maybe what happened is not exactly what you're putting out there and mm -hmm. you're just ruining somebody's business yes. because you're angry. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we should work. But we better. don't know. And then he's saying that um, he's he he now said. saying that the club paid bloggers to even defame him, which I did not say anything until he put it out there. <laughs> Do you understand? So I don't know if this this also looks like a publicity stunt. I don't know if you guys saw one of those funny things that happened on the popular blog site where upcoming artists are now putting out different stories like the King Nina thing, like oh, one and all. Oh. You understand? Like I really don't get it now. King so Nina maybe, story is it like? Huh? <laughs> yeah, the girl has come out to say that it's a lie that she lied about it and she's sorry about yeah, it. Yeah, no, she came to uh, apologize to the King Nina now, right? Uh, so that's what she came yeah, out that was to do. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's, this guy, story. there's this other guy. That guy that was arrested by uh, military uh, personnel mm -hmm. that they paid him for a show, and I'm wondering who paid this guy 600k for a show. We don't even know you, bro. Mm. Maybe that's <laughs> you why I don't believe J One's story then, because <laughs> I've seen a lot well, of publicity. Maybe and everywhere. maybe not, but if they really want to blow up, maybe should should contact EFCC and see me. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. Bye. And that's Big our wrap up. <laughs> this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can watch this conversation all over again and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to Michael Ankos, Ewaolu Oritu, and Ifeolu Oshukeye, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying, have yourselves a great day.